The Lord gifted me five senses to make sense of one certainty that we are all but characters in the Ahlul Bayt story. A story that began before its story had begun. Five nights were created to reflect the Lord's one. The countless stars and galaxies, these lights outshone. Search for any sign greater, search for any sign of God greater. You'll find none, any celestial beauty by theirs would be outdone. For stars come and they go, but the Ahl Bayt live on. There are more stars than there are grains of sand. And this is all to portray that we are but mere characters in the Ahl Bayt story. God created mankind, but what would mankind even be were he not to send man Muhammad his mercy? What could mankind be in any other story? What characters, what plots, what story that is worthy? We are all mere travelers upon his journey. You're in my story, he says. Your lives are told to me. The only choice you have is which character you want to be because we are all but mere characters in the Ahl Bayt story. God gifted us sight, and through all my eyes have seen, they have not seen anything purer than the pure 14. I've not tasted sweetness like the knowledge they would feed. I've not heard a prayer spoken like it's from the unseen. Before I thank Allah for the air that I breathe, I thank him for the love of Amir al muminin I thank him for making me see him through the greatness of Ali, because we are all but mere characters in the Ahl Bayt story. I thank him for choosing me from the millions of men to see patience through the patience of Imam al Hassan. Patience so strong that it shook the story writer's pen. We are mere reflections of his struggle within. When Allah sees us patient, Allah remembers him. When Allah sees us patient, Allah remembers him. Sending infinite blessings upon Muhammad's children. What is our glory? Beside the Ahl Bayt's glory, we are all but mere characters in the Ahl Bayt story. And when I recall Hassan, I recall Hussein, the name that brings me joy, and yet with it brings me pain. This is all their story. But let me explain that of the greatest of his chapters, his story became when we recall Karbala, when we mention its name, when we recall Karbala, and when we mention its name, we become the adjectives used to describe that day. None would know Karbala without us to narrate it. Surely, we are all but mere characters in the Ahl Bayt story. Allah wrote this story, and it's about no other than the story of a father and his daughter. The story of Ahmed and Fatima Zahra, because without their faith, none of it would matter. The planets and the stars are mere beads for their prayer. Tell me of Allah, is there a sign greater? This is the story that you're all a part of, so act accordingly, because we are all but mere characters in the Ahl Bayt story. The Lord gifted me five senses to make sense of one certainty, that we are all but mere characters in the Ahl Bayt story. Aflahamad salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. I am inshallah going to leave it here. Just a few very, very, very short lines of poetry about Ali ibn Abi Talib because of course the Holy Prophet says Dhikr Ali ibn Ibadah and inshallah we can all share in the thawab of remembering Ali ibn Abi Talib. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr. Verily Allah descended the Quran on the night of Qadr. And what do you really know on the night of, of the night of Qadr? And I say about Ali, verily he descended on the 13th of Rajab. And what do you really know of the striker of Marhab? I don't know what was just born, a baby or God's book. All I know is that when he was born, the idols shook. Did Ibrahim build the Kaaba to be your cradle? Did God give Muhammad arms so Ali he'd cradle? I don't know if as a baby you would walk or crawl, for I can't imagine crawling the father of all. Envious of this day is the night of destiny, as it sees that the Quran your pupils carry. How great is he who when he is born, the idols shake if he'd Return to his cradle when idols he'd break. The man born to stand against the thousands of Hanain, the mountain of Uhud upon Muhammad's plain. It was him who taught me God when he was struck prostrate because he gave his killer water before meeting his fate. They could only kill Ali within his prostration, unsurprising when he was born. In prayer's direction, they tell me I call Ali God. 
They tell me I call Ali God, but how can that be? When it is God that I thank for guiding me to Ali. When it is God that I thank for guiding me to Ali. Thank you for listening. Wassalamu alaikum jami'an. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Afsalamu salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad.